Helmets. What's up, everybody? Matt Nuzzo, hanging out at Real. Been getting a lot of questions on our online reviews about, hey, Newsy, which helmet you wearing? So I wanna go over the helmets that I'm using and also a variety of the other ones that we carry here. Carry helmets from Gath, Mystic, Ion, Ride Engine. So a variety of different helmets. I really been uh, liking the Gath helmets. I started out, I kind of tried a bunch with winging. I was, uh, when I was falling, I was falling, my hands were up and I was falling, I was hitting the back of my head. So I was getting headaches uh, after sessions and particularly as I started getting the ocean riding swell. Never really, knock on wood, got smashed by my foil but definitely hit the water hard enough to want to wear a helmet. And so that created a unique thing whereas the helmet was like pushing up over the back of my head. Uh, this is the helmet I have for the maybe one day a year I'm riding in the park, uh, Mystic Predator. Really good helmet, definitely one of our most versatile and usable helmets. Has that ratchet in the back there so you can kind of just crank the thing on and off. Has a lot of adjustability and this is kind of one of our top sellers and one I'd really recommend. But what was happening was it was starting to like push forward. I would, I'd wipe out and it would get water and push forward uh, how I was falling. So I uh, went to the Gath, went to the classic Tom Carroll uh, Sport Neo uh, helmet. It's a real thin, low profile helmet. Is a really specific to fit you know the only way you can change the size is kind of by cutting foam out with the uh, razor blade for either the gas this one has a an insert that you can put into it but this one does not um, I was fitting a medium of this and uh, it's a really uh, nice helmet because it's super low profile and it kind of just took the sting out of the wipeouts. It didn't really help, you know, it doesn't have a ton of padding, but it helped a lot with, you know, after I started wearing, the, wearing this helmet, it was great. It didn't, you know, put bucket out and, and push up. Uh, recently, I switched over to the Surf Convertible. It has these ear flaps that I would recommend putting on them. It just makes it a little more solid and complete. It is a little bit of a pain. I actually had to read the instructions uh, on how to put those on. Um, but it has higher foam. It basically stays on like the Neo, but it has a little more foam and a little more protection. So those two are good. This one I'm fitting in a large, so the sizing is different. Um, then we carry them from Ride Engine, Ion, also kind of similar to the Predator style. Uh, Mystic and Ride Engine have these soft helmets too, which are just kind of like a very low profile hat that has some, some uh, high density foam in there. So that's gonna work out well for kind of just taking a sting out of you know your wipeouts for kiting or foiling or whatever it is. Do recommend people wearing helmets. Uh, head injuries are the real deal. Even like I was getting just, you know, kind of like persistent headaches after taking sessions from smashing my face and the head on the water. Well, face doesn't matter, but back of your head for sure uh, will really help out a ton. So uh, if you have more questions about what helmet's right for you, reach out online, realwatersports.com, or give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. See you guys on the water.